I just never expected half to leave, and now I do. A plan to revamp the Euclid Beach neighborhood is met with mixed reactions tonight. Residents of the community say they've been left to wonder where they may end up. Our Isabel Lawrence spoke with residents about the plan to redevelop along Lakeshore Boulevard. I didn't ever see it coming because I was going to retire right here. This is my retire home right here. That was the plan. Now, Lawrence Williams and about 100 other residents at the Euclid Beach mobile home community need to find a new plan as they face displacement in a year to year and a half. I mean, people don't really don't want to move, I'm telling you that now. The 28-acre community bought by Western Reserve Land Conservancy in 2021 is part of the Euclid Beach Neighborhood Plan, aiming to redevelop the Lakeshore Boulevard area. Councilman Mike Polensic calls the Western Reserve Land Conservancy a life preserver and says the land, as well as the nearby metro parks and library, had to be protected. We could not take the chance of someone coming in there and buying that and immediately starting an eviction process. Polensic says the idea of moving residents within the community isn't financially feasible due to the costs of relocating and repairing the infrastructure there, which Polensic describes as shot. But the question remains, where do these residents go? We're in an affordable housing crisis right now, and we would be sending over 100 more people into that bottleneck while also simultaneously wiping out over 100 affordable housing units. The Northeast Ohio Coalition for the Homeless points out many of the residents own their homes and lease the land they're on. Between changes and improvements made to the trailers and the age of some of them, picking up and moving isn't necessarily feasible. That's the case for resident Lenny Trefney, who says redevelopment is a good idea, but puts him in a difficult position. Well, I gotta go. So I got a year to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm upset about it. Now, some residents have actually banded together to create a union for collective bargaining, hoping to reach some sort of settlement cost for relocating. I'm told for those residents who are elderly or disabled, finding accessible and affordable housing will be difficult. Now, Polensic tells me that this whole situation has kept him up at night, and he does hope to find ways to help these residents over the next year, year and a half. All right, Isabel Lawrence, live for us tonight in Cleveland. Isabel, thank you.